All right, ladies, I'm back. This is Nutritionist Rob with Black Women Obesity TV. And we're going to get really dirty, down and dirty today. Before I want to say, before I get into this crazy topic we're going to talk about today, I say, look, some of the comments that come in, you guys got to understand, I'm trying to give you guys information. And you got to realize that this information is to help our children as black people. So when people are, are commenting saying, you know, who's this guy? He don't know what he's talking about. I mean, when it comes to the foods, we lose our minds. We have this dysfunctional relationship with this food company. Like everything else around is terrible. Racism, prejudice, money, no money. But the food companies, they're not even involved in any of this. Well, I'm telling you, they're involved in more than any of them. That's how they make our children sick and how they make you sick and how they make you overweight. And that's when all the, the drama starts. So I'm just telling you, these people don't like you. Why would they like you when they're putting poisons in your foods? And they're putting it in our neighborhoods. Don't get mad at me. You need to get mad at them. I'm just trying to give you that information. So today I'm going to give you some information that is... It's, it's, it's alarming, but it happens. It's a secret society. So we're going we're gonna to tap into it a little bit. It's called the rendering industry. The rendering industry. And the rendering industry is dispose, is disposal of dead animals. Cats, dogs, deers, anything they see, roadkill. They do not throw any of that stuff away. So I'm going to kind of show you, give you a general idea of what they're doing with this roadkill, and you're not going to believe it, but that's okay. But I'm just giving you the information because they're doing something with it. Okay? Now, the rendering industry. It is a multi-billion dollar industry. Again, they are disposing of dead animals. And I have another another channel where I, I, I uh, showed this video and a lot of people did watch it, but they all hated me for it. <laughs> they hated me for showing this information because we think that the uh, United States uh, does no wrong with our food. So when you go to your butcher, the butcher, uh, and you have the feet and the nose and the, the butt and all that stuff, and they don't feed that, they don't give that to you, well, the butchers, that stuff doesn't go to waste. They do something with it. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of how they grind up these animals. They're going to grind them up. And then I'm going to kind of tell you exactly what they're going to be doing with these with this, these scraps that you're going to see. So again, unfortunately, the family, <laughs> the family dog that goes to the vets, this is where they're going. They're going to rendering plants. And there aren't a lot of videos. They will not let you see these things at all. So basically, it's called the scrap business, animal scrap business. So just let's just run this, run it for a few minutes, and then I'll come back. And we're going to talk a little more about it. All right, here we go.
You see that, guys? That's a horse. So they want to know where all your dead horses go? Well, they go to rendering plants. Now, two things. I had a video with where they had actual dogs and cats being destroyed, and they were not taking the tags uh, off the dogs. I mean, they're grinding up tags. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't take them off. Some of them they do, but most of the time they just throw the animals in when they euthanize these dogs. And um, uh, that was that was pretty that's pretty graphic. They actually took that video off because I don't know they I just couldn't find it anymore. The one with the dog and cats. I guess people just couldn't take it anymore. But so Mossum grind out this this horse. All right, I'm back. That was very interesting, wasn't it? I mean, they were basically just chopping up those big animals. and So now, 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 now what are they going to do? What are they going to do with all these animals? What are they going to do with all these animals? So they, they grind them up. What do they do? Because they got to go somewhere. Now, allegedly, the... No, first of all, what they do is they separate the protein. You guys are going to the store and seen protein powders. I'm not saying they're in the protein powders. I'm just saying you've seen protein powders. And they dry it out. And on the other side, they have fat. So you got fat and you got protein. And they separate the two. So where, what are they going to do with the fat and what are they going to do with the protein? The protein is dried and reintroduced into various ways. Most say it goes to dog food. Some say it goes to fertilizer. Some say it's, it's used to feed the animals that you eat, that we eat. We really don't know where this stuff's going. We don't know if it's being reintroduced into our food supply. You wouldn't want to think that. You wouldn't want to think that, but you don't know. Because the politicians allow this. The Democrats and Republicans. I want everybody to understand that. So now the fat part of it, allegedly, says that it goes into cosmetics, back into the cosmetics, once your lipsticks, lotions, etc. And that also, they say, it goes into dog food. And they also said that fat is used to feed the animals. So the animals, when we eat the animals, we're eating that. So again, we don't know there's not evidence saying that they're reintroducing this into our food supply. But I know that they do. But I have no proof. <laughs> they're adding it back in. 
They're, it's going somewhere. Now, based on their records on how they treat people, you would probably think that they are, they are doing that. They're reintroducing this stuff into our foods. Why are so many people sick? This is just some of the drama that goes on with our foods. I'm kind of getting off the weight loss thing today. I'm just letting you know how they, how they look at us. They can make that stuff taste good. That's why before we were talking about monosodium, glutamate, MSG, high fructose corn syrup, they know how to make garbage taste good. And we think it's food. And that garbage blows up our children. That's how they, that's how obesity, they put the chemicals in scraps that blow you up. It causes diabetes, hypertension, cancer, strokes. I don't think you believe that. I think it's pretty obvious you don't believe it yet. There's not a lot of people watching it. You're not eating food. It's just an illusion. It tastes good. But you wonder why our kids are so overweight too. It's funny, even the dogs are overweight. <laughs> Talking to the vets, they're 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 overweight. Alright, we're gonna wrap this up. That was crazy, wasn't it? Is that enough pain? I mean, black people, we just don't, we don't have enough pain. So everybody's going to get mad for me <laughs> showing me that video, right? What you mean they put that back in the foods? Well, maybe you need to do some research. You see, weight loss is not that complicated. It's just, it, you just have to know how to separate yourselves from man-made foods, processed foods. If you can break away from that, then the weight's going to come right off. So my job is to show you about processed foods where then you, you want to stay away as much as possible. And all of a sudden, your weight just starts coming off. Things get better. And so the next question is, what do you buy when you're in the supermarkets? That's really the key. You're going to the supermarket. You have to know what to buy. That's where I come in. You have to know what to buy in the supermarkets. You don't know if this stuff's in your food. But I know one thing, it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. See, these people have a plan for you <laughs> because they got a plan for you. So you better have a plan because they got a plan for you. They got a plan for you. See, we, we got we got to we got to develop a new eating culture. And basically the new eating culture is staying away from processed foods. I mean, we know that we're supposed to be eating fruits and vegetables. We know this. But you got to stay away from these, these processed foods. <laughs> you just got to stay away. But it's hard because they're addicting. They're addicting. And that's why we have to create a family, again, a new eating culture. And we have to talk. Most of you have lots of people that are sick in your family. And I am way at the top of the chain. Close family members dying. And these people didn't take care of themselves. Now the kids are getting sick. I mean, we got to get it together. So now you just go to the website, it's in the description box, 
you'll see it'll say myflatbellydiet.com. Just go in there and you ask for a consultation. You can go in there and book an appointment. I'll talk to you. And we will have a blast. Absolutely hilarious. Especially when you want to change. When you want to change, it really gets like, I'm just done. I'm so, I'm ready to go. So you got to hang around people who want to be healthy and lose weight. You want to hang around those people. But in our community, we're all overweight. So it's like, that's become a part of our culture. It's just be overweight. That's part of our culture. And times are going to get, you haven't seen nothing yet, what's going on here. And if you're not healthy, you know, all their little diseases that they're throwing at you, you're going to be scared. And, you you know, there's going to be some complications. Because I keep telling you about obesity and diseases. All right, that's the, that's that's what we're going to talk about today. That rendering plant stuff, man. I tell you, people are going to, people just... They can't even understand what's going on. So, again, it's, it, it is what it is. So, just trying to help. I'm going to start pumping out some more, as m- many as I can. I've had a lot of deaths in the family in the last few weeks. Brother, brother passed. And uh, just people not taking care of themselves. So, got to keep it moving, right? All right. So, uh, everybody, enjoy your blessings. Pass the videos on to as many people as you can. I'll help you. All right? I'm out.